Welcome to the course on Network Analysis, ELE 311T, floated by the Department of Electrical Engineering, Islamic University of Science and Technology. This course is being taught to the students of third semester Electrical Engineering. That is why you have a 3 here. And it's a theory course, so you have a T here. It's a 4 credit course. That means four contact hours per week. Normally, you'll be having four lectures per week in this course. So, in this introductory video, I would be telling you about the importance of this course, why we need to study this course, and we'd be also briefly discussing the course contents and the recommended books. As we all know, electrical engineering deals most of the time with the analysis and design of electrical networks. Like for example, the power system network that delivers energy to our homes. This course aims at building the basic skills required for analyzing electrical networks. So you are given an electrical network. You want to see how it's how it's working. You want to analyze its behavior, and for that you need to have certain skills. You need to be well versed with certain mathematics. So the aim of this course is to give you skills, is to make you good enough for analyzing different kinds of electrical networks that you'll see throughout your study and throughout your career as an electrical engineer. So what does analysis mean? Roughly speaking, in the context of this course, I give you a network and I want to know its behavior. So you should be able to write down certain equations. You should be able to do some mathematics and you should be, you should be able to tell me how the circuit is going to behave. And by behave, I mean how the currents and the voltages and the power and different other parameters of the network vary. With time. So I want to characterize the network and for characterizing the network I want to know its important parameters and how they vary with time. It is not about this course is not about solving one circuit and getting the requisite grade. It is about building the capacity to to be able to analyze and understand and predict and maybe tomorrow design networks and circuits which is the basic job of an electrical engineer so this course would be actually giving you the basic skills required and it forms one of the most fundamental parts of the whole study of electrical engineering. So I'd like to call it one of the basic building blocks of the study in electrical engineering. So I hope that all of us take this course very seriously and we try to train ourselves to, to the best of our abilities so that tomorrow when another stone is being laid on this foundation, that stone is stable because the foundation is good. The course contents are roughly divided into five units. There is a PDF file available on the portal for you to download. But I can tell you the contents in the first unit we'll be talking about differential equations and how they are used in network analysis. In the second unit, we'll be talking about certain theorems that help us in analyzing networks. In the third unit, we talk about certain types of networks which can be characterized using two port parameters. In the fourth unit, we move from analysis to synthesis in the sense that 
now we try to design networks so that a particular application is uh, met a particular application requirement is met and in the last unit we'll talk about filters so this is roughly what we'll be talking about the details of each unit can be seen in the in the syllabus copy that is available on the on the website we'll be mainly taking the material from two books uh, network analysis by van valkenburg and network analysis and synthesis by franklin w Koo. so i hope that you find this course interesting you find this course useful and you do your best to try to understand the course and try to become good electrical engineers in the process. Thank you very much.